one more week to go. I just hope I don't go into labour right now. <laughs> On 9th of July 2012, the government introduced rules which set an income threshold so high that half of British people could not live with their spouse if their spouse or partner came from outside the European Economic Area. 61% of women will not pass these financial thresholds. These rules force British women to give birth and look after newborns alone. Yes. yes. They force British women, married British women, which is unbelievable, to be single parents. The children to become fatherless and motherless. This is shocking. It's a shocking breach of British rights. I've had to give birth alone to my little baby because of this financial requirement. I am fighting against this UK border agency, Home Office and everyone else to tell them that family life is a right. It's not a privilege. Yeah. 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 My daughter's wages in Thailand, although were really good wage in Thailand, were not a good wage in the UK. So the inflexibility of the rules meant that her husband um, was not allowed to come here. Um, within weeks of putting the application in for the visa, my daughter found out that she was pregnant and now have a beautiful grandson who is uh, only weeks old. And that's why my daughter isn't here today because she had to take her son, young as he was, over to Thailand so that the father and the son could bond. My wife's in uh, Nigeria. Um, we've been married since May last year. We've got a six-month-old baby boy. Um, I've seen him twice for three weeks. Uh, Theresa May, how am I supposed to bond with my child? Um, Conservative government is supposed to be about family values. Can you prove that to me? I'm sending £400 to my wife each month. My father is helping me out with us. If he didn't help me, my wife would starve. She's not eating meals some days so that she can make sure our kids are okay. That's a disgusting situation. I'm married to Phil. Uh, we have been together for 14 years. Phil is from Australia. This is my son Cooper here. Uh, the Home Office, we've been back in the UK two and a half years now. Phil's been on a spouse visa and we applied for the next extension of that spouse visa which should have been a very simple procedure. But they stuffed it up and they now want to deport my husband because we haven't given enough evidence of our relationship. <laughs> Three children, uh, we've always lived together. We've come back because my mother is ill and needs our support. It, it was a mega decision to move a family of five back to England from the other side of the world. My children have now settled here and now they want to deport Daddy. So the British immigration system is failing the British people. We tried to do it the right way through the right system and I found out now if we had come in through Europe I could have worked for three months and Phil would be in under the European law. But we are under British law and the system is failing my family, it's failing your family and these are desperate times. My children need their daddy, I need my husband. I'm from Egypt and wa alaykum as -salam. I entered the country legally and I got British daughter, I got British wife and when I sent my application they told my wife yeah we'll give you refused take your wife and go Egypt. I'm here eight years now. I have no right to work. They took my passport. I have no bank account. I got one daughter I can support. I got a wife I can support. What I can I do? I don't know what to do, but I know only one thing. I got a British daughter. I got a British wife. And I will go nowhere. This my country. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. I got my reply last week um, from my appeal. They said to me, you don't earn enough money. Obviously, I live in East Sussex. If I lived in London and I did the same job there, I would actually meet the criteria. They said to me, your husband works. He's got a house. Go and live there. 
I have four children, I have three grandchildren. I support my children and I work six days a week. Why should I leave? I'm not leaving. thing is to actually just leave your son behind. Oh, it can be quite emotional I suppose. Um, anyway, I just want to put a challenge out to Theresa May, Nick Harper and David Cameron. Why don't you come down here and actually chat to us people that are all affected. Yeah. Yeah. Every single one of us is affected by this. You sit in your ivory tower making these ridiculous rules. Many of us are gathered here today to know about, uh, know about the challenges of sponsoring a spouse. I also want to talk to you about a bit about the ban on sponsoring elderly relatives, such as my mother. That's right, the rules introduced last year are a ban. And that is why we know of only one, just one case of the last 12 months where somebody successfully sponsored an elderly relative to come to live in the UK. So why is it a ban? For starters, the parents have to be in a semi-vegetated state before they can even be considered by the home office. They should not be able to perform everyday tasks like cleaning themselves. I ask you, where is their dignity in that? Is there dignity in that? No. The rules also create a catch-22 situation with other requirements, so that meeting one almost guarantees that we will fail another. Is that fair? No! Last week they decided that all uh, landlords, private landlords, should be checking our immigration status, as well as GPs. In the High Court, Mr Justice Blake made a very carefully considered ruling. He ruled that the new level of financial requirement is not only unjustified, but that it's disproportionate and unlawful. He said, to quote, this is not a right afforded by the permission of the Secretary of State, but it is a fundamental right of constitutional significance recognised by the common law. I just want us to think for a second how it is to be a father and father of four with a baby a week old being banged onto the plane and then restrained beyond life at the inquest for which we had to wait for three years that the Angolan man Jimmy Mubenga who was killed while he was deported the inquest verdict is that it was unlawful killing and when Jimmy was deported on that day his fourth child was only a week old whatever government ministers up there Come down and face us. Yeah. Come down now and face us. Bunch of cowards. Yes. yes. Theresa May, do the right thing. Change these heinous policies and give us back our rights to family life. Save our families! Save our families! Save our families!